Lindsay Williams, and today I will be talking to my mom, Mrs. Williams, about when she was a nurse who worked at the hospital when Ronald Reagan was shot. So, where was Reagan when he was shot? He was at the Washington, D.C. Hilton Hotel at DuPont Circle. And what day was that? That was March the 30th of 1981. Where were you when Reagan was shot? I was in Georgetown, a different part of D.C., getting ready to go to the afternoon shift at GW Hospital. Who else was shot that day? The James Brady and Dennis McCarthy, who was a, a um, Secret Service agent. And you directly took care of Brady? Yes, James Brady was the press secretary, and I took care of him directly. What ran through your mind when they were shot? Oh, God, please, no, I don't want to be another John F. Kennedy. How long were they in the hospital? Um, James Brady for months and months, but President Reagan just about five days, same for Officer McCarthy. Why was James Brady in the hospital so much longer than Ronald Reagan? Because the bullet went into his brain. And Reagan? Reagan, it went, right, President Reagan was waving at the crowd, and the Secret Service agent pushed him down into the limousine, and that's when the bullet ricocheted off the limousine into President Reagan's chest and the bullet was centimeters from his heart. Who shot them? John F. Hinckley Jr. And did they find him right away? They did. The Secret Service, other agents were able to surround him and get the gun away from them because he was firing randomly and fast. So they knew it was him right away? Yes. And they didn't suspect anybody else? They did suspect that the foreign government was involved. They specifically thought Russia maybe was involved. So as a nurse, we had to take precautions, even on that intravenous fluid bag, we would hang so that in case somebody from the Russian government had infiltrated into the hospital pharmacy or the hospital supply cabinets, we had to randomly pick supplies. Did they ever find out why he did it? Yes. he tried to get the attention of Jodie Foster, an actress. Um, she was a Yale student at the time. He wanted to date her, and she wouldn't have anything to do with him, so he was stalking her and harassing her. How long was Reagan in office before he was shot? Just about two months. He'd been inaugurated on a cold winter day like today um, in January. And you went with your friend? Yes, I did. And one of them became the Virginia governor. And did Brady become the press secretary right when Ronald Reagan was elected? Right, during the campaign and the transition team, James Brady had worked um, and, and he got the full-time job when President Reagan was inaugurated. Did any of the victims die? Thank God, no. No fatalities. Did the vice president take over when Ronald Reagan was healing? George Herbert Walker Bush, who later became President number 41, he took over while President Reagan was under anesthesia. Other than that, President Reagan remained president the whole time. And he was the father of our most recent president? Right, George Walker Bush, President 43. And now Jeb Bush is running to become, to try to be president number 45. After Brady recovered, did he resume his job at the White House? He never did, Lindsay. His brain damage was too severe to take over a high-stress job like that. But he did keep the title and keep the paycheck the whole time. What did the country think of this shooting? Um, people were very upset. President Reagan was very popular, and um, the country was rightly alarmed. Was Mrs. Reagan there when the shootings happened? She was not. She was in the White House and her limousine rushed her to the emergency room where President Reagan tried to make jokes to help her stress level be reduced. He said, honey, I forgot to duck. <laughs> and then he teased the surgeons and the surgical team, I hope you're all Republicans. That's funny. Were you still in nursing school? I had graduated from Duke University School of Nursing and moved to Washington, D.C. and I was a full-time full -time nurse, registered nurse. Did you get any special treatment for being the nurse of these people? No, I didn't, but my roommate, my Duke roommate, was also my Georgetown roommate, 
and she was one of President Reagan's nurses, so she has much better stories, and um, especially how stressed Mrs. Reagan was. But she got some special treatment. There were some chocolates from the United Arab Emirates that were gold wrapped, and so she got some of those. That's nice. Besides being a nurse, did you serve Reagan in any other way? Yes, I was very lucky the next summer. I was in graduate school working full-time as a nurse and getting my, my degree in health policy. And I interviewed one of Reagan's deputies in the budget office. And I felt anything President Reagan would try to fix in health care would be based upon the dollars. So I brought a carrot cake and some chocolate chip cookies, Lindsay to the people I interviewed to thank them for taking time out of their busy day. And they wrote me back a thank you note asking how I'd like a summer job. And that was um, summer of 82? Right, so I got to be full-time all summer long. I got to be a nurse full-time on um, the weekends, two 12-hour shifts. And then I got to be an intern um, five days a week. And I'd go down to Capitol Hill and listen to testimony. I'd summarize the pros and the cons of different pieces of legislation, different pros and cons of different policy options. Is it right that Reagan was your favorite president? Definitely, and he still is to this day. And why is that? Um, he had a lot of good foreign policy. Um, he, Russia, we didn't have war at all when he was president, except for the small island of Grenada. Um, we had no wars, we had peace. Um, we, he thought relations with Russia, um, China, everything was really great and stable when he was president. And domestic policy-wise, he cut the rate of spending that was going skyrocketing to what it is today. He cut it and flattened it while he was president.